Uh, go over there. Not the right button. Go over there. So if I wanted to go here, can I teleport? No. So you can only teleport to things that are camps then. I can't even teleport to the exit necessarily. Interesting. What is this? Maven's Lost Satchel. Okay. Uh, choose destination. Field Vance Camp? No. Okay. So since that's the only location here I can travel to, choose destination just automatically picks that then. Gotcha. Okay, so Deer Track Path is there. We're going to go up and then to the right. We must have gone here somewhere then, right? Like, where could we have possibly gone? Also, to be fair to them, uh, the map actually is in the right shape. It's just that it's not what I thought it would look like. I assume you actually entered this way, and assuming like this was the starting zone. Well, this would make sense because you then go around there. Uh, I actually only made it ever to here, so this entire area is new to me. If we ever want to go down there, uh, without the same thing with like whatever this lake of rage is, maybe this is like Giratina's lake. I don't know. Now we have this. Oh, I don't know is where was the Gyarados? Was the Gyarados here? Was it like here or maybe like here, right? I don't know. Anyways, though. Uh, no fast travel to where we need to go. So after we do this real quick check, we're going to be heading over there, I guess. More shoe planes. Uh, Starlies, and I assume it's going to be a no producer there. Okay, so the Bidoof's, I wonder if it, the if EVs are like a one-time only spawn event. Either that or, or like they're just very specific situations like I somehow ended up getting the first time. I don't know. I'm not quite sure. But we shall make do without them then. Uh, where's the gate? There it is. So, if I look at the map correctly, it's going to do this for Stantler, since he does need some more XP. Uh, if I look at the map correctly, you need to go ahead and go straight here, up the mountain, and to the right. Uh, last time I went, I think, directly to the right. And I haven't gone directly to the left yet. And I'll just, I'll just do a quick loop over here. You know, just seeing the sights. Definitely not getting distracted. We have a Starly. We have some more Starlies. We have a tree. I don't think it's actually... I mean, we'll always check over there later. Uh, quest Giver, though. Hello, oh, man. Oh, there. Mind helping the guy out? I'm actually some cherry berries. You know, I'm the shiny red ones. They grow on some trees around here, but I don't see any Pokemon that can reach them for me. That's where you come in, friend. Throw one of your Pokeballs in the Pokemon and grab it. Be sure the Pokeball you throw has a Pokemon in mind. Be ashamed to waste an empty Pokeball. If you hand me three of the cherry berries you get, I'll hand you another tip. That's it, I'm just doing this for a tip. Oh, no, that's apricots. I thought you were standing two feet from one. I was going to be a bit annoyed about you, sir. Wait, no, you were standing two feet from them. I'm a bit annoyed about you, sir. Oh, can you give me three of those berries? Sure. You lazy boy. Thanks. Now then, here's the handy tip I was talking about. You can throw a berry near... Okay, dude. Alright, dude. Okay, you gave me Pokeballs as well. Thank, thank you. You're not trying to pay me just in tips. I appreciate that. Uh, Geodude. Mm. I'm just going to pass for you right now. Well, I guess I do need some XP on Weasel, right? If I can move during battle, can I catch these? No, I cannot. Leafage, go. Wait a minute, that's not my Weasel. Alright, well. Where's my Weasel? Where's my Weasel? We did have a quest, though, to uh, defeat them with Grass-type moves. That's pretty good. There you go. Aqua Jet. Nice. I wonder what happens if I get too far away from them. 
Okay, so we now defeated them with enough water tech moves as well. And that's Sterling. That's not a Geodude. That's gonna be a Geodude though, probably. Geodude. Nice. Let's be this with another grass move. What else do we have here? We have a a statue. What is this? What Pokemon could this possibly be? Well, how do I go cinematic mode again? Uh, nope, 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 nope. Oh, that's definitely not it. Nope. Hold on a minute. Uh, nope. There you go. I don't know how to go cinematic mode anymore. Figured it out immediately as soon as I started playing the game. But, uh, no clue. Maybe it was like a placeholder button? I don't know. Well, holding these in. Okay, I just don't think you can go cinematic mode anymore. So this is the button. How about this one? Oh, this one. That's a screenshot. How about this one? That's how I exit out of the game. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. I'm just gonna give up. Can you, uh... Can you figure this out for me, buddy? No? Okay. What Pokemon is it supposed to be, though? That, that was the original question, by the way. Because it has, like, a horn. It has some of that. Maybe it's supposed to be, like, a regional Pokemon I don't know about. This one looks completely different, though. Weird. Anyways. Hello, person. Oh, this looks like a boss zone. I guess that makes sense. This is a boss fight. So, even your professor decided to join us. I guess so. Well, thank goodness I got here in time. As a Pokemon researcher, I could hardly miss out on a chance to observe an alpha now, could I? I suppose that is your business. Fine, as long as you stay out of the way. This is Deer Track Heights. This is where I've come to pay tribute to a special Pokemon. Pokemon descended from those of one of the ancients blessed by Almighty Sinnoh. Dee wee wee whoop. That's not it. That's only a troublemaker. Here to disturb the peace with its racket. Dee wee 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 whoop. That's what you're here for, Zen. Drive that interloper from this place. I'm sure your Pokemon are ready for battle. Upon my word, what a large specimen. Little wonder alpha Pokemon are feared across the land if there are all as oversized as this one. Exactly. They're only big, though. They're strong, and they know moves that others of their kind do not. And not to be trifled with, let me tell you. Nevertheless, I believe you are still stronger than this alpha. So go show it that beyond any mistaking. Be careful. Size is a potent weapon, in of itself. But this alpha is a powerful and hardy foe. If you must face it, make sure your Pokemon has some strong moves at their disposal. Alright then. I'll kill this Dealy Lily Whoop for you. Go, Ponyta. I missed. Oh, good enough though. Dealy Lily Whoop. Alright, Ponyta, I believe in you. You definitely will not get one charged by this thing. Action speed in battle. Press the Y button until we already know this. The action speed of a Pokemon is based on a speed stat, but can also be affected by certain moves and items. Pokemon with a high action speed may be able to act at will. May be able to act with multiple times in a row. Uh, it's faster than us. With an adult 40. That is not good. If I go Quick Ember though, Quick Ember into Flame Wheel. I should be able to do a, do a lot of damage. Ah. Uh, not enough, mind you. But a lot of damage. I mean, it might be doing enough. It's physical. Nice. Easily done. Nice job, Ponyta. Ooh, got some levels here as well. Not even a sweat. You really are an impressive one, aren't you? 
things went best enough for like that. It surely reminds me of the legendary hero of old. You best make sure your Pokemon are taken care of after that. Beer. What in the world? It's a deer. It's my Stanley's big brother. That's the great word, dear. Hello? Just staring at us. He looks upon you with kindness, does he? This is getting creepy. Okay, he just- okay, well. I'd say the great weird here has taken a liking to you. That is fortunate. An esteemed Pokemon can dash across the expanse of Fasui, while bearing a human on his back. A human he deems worthy, at least. He is a blessing to us all. Remarkable, truly outstanding stuff. A Pokemon just letting someone ride on it? Why, it's just like the ride Pokemon of Alola. Excuse me? You know the ride Pokemon of Alola? What now? Is, is Alola... Wait, what? Okay. Uh, she said that once the Zen is okay, blah, 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 we'll set up a base camp here. I uh, thought that. I knew this was a joint decision by Adamin and the commander, but still, is it truly fine for us to set up more base camps like this? The Hisui region is a land created by Almighty Sinnoh for the sake of its Pokemon. As long as your goal is to coexist and thrive with Pokemon, then I imagine you should also be allowed to use this land. The Great Word here has taken a liking to Sinnoh as well. This is a good sign. You have my thanks for what you did today. Our clan leader will hear of how you aided us. I'll come to show my appreciation with a proper reward as soon as I can. So this is a new teleport zone, then, I assume. I think, I, I think that's what I got from this. If you want to coexist and thrive with Pokemon, we'll need to start fearing them and start getting them to know them better. That starts with completing the Pokédex. Anyways, we should be able to have the base camp set up once the construction core arrives. Also, I'm still very suspicious of that deer. It, it knew things. It saw things. I don't think I want to know what I saw. Here we have it, our new base camp upon Deer Track Heights. We call it the Heights Camp. Cool. From now on, when you set out from the village, you can be asked to be escorted to this camp to show your excursions directly from here. Having another base camp to start from will be a great help on our surveys. Nice work today, everyone. How about we all head back to the Wallflower? Alright. How many points did I get? Another 150. Honestly, that's kind of fine. Benny old chum, the usual potato monkey, please, and make it for three today as well. Have you all heard the grave news? Frenzied Cleaver from the rumors, and up mauling some of our galaxy folks who went out to investigate it this morning. The medical corps has a hard time getting all the injured back on their feet. Ah, this is the Cleaver that was repeated, or reportedly struck by powerful lightning, yes. I did hear he's been behaving erratically since then. Still, if further investigation is ordered, the Survey Corps will, of course, step up to the task. A certain amount of danger is inevitable when researching unfamiliar Pokemon, but I'm sure Xanathar here can handle things just fine. Are you sure? I've heard Cleaver so mighty even Alpha Pokemon don't compare to him. Now, now, you've got the strengths of the Pokemon are key items of information that we of the Survey Corps are duty-bound to research. It's in the perilous works of our call for a clear head and fighting. And since this perilous work of our calls for a clear head and fighting fit to physique, I do believe a good night's sleep is in order for after this fine meal. Next day. Good morning. Should hurry to the commander's office before he decides to use you for sumo practice. I don't need to put anything away. Probably, right? Yeah. Let's see. Remove, 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 and remove. Alright then.
There you are. Let's hurry to the headquarters. Look who's being punctual. Finally realize you're waiting almighty Sinnoh's precious time by bowing to a sham. This is an interesting start. Okay. There we go again. Insisting on your false image of the almighty Sinnoh as a ruler of time. Have people follow the true almighty Sinnoh. The font of all creation and the ruler of space. Ah, he could have all the space there is and still not know what to do with it. Excuse me, are you suggesting that you make better use of your time than we make a vast Hisui space? Better than some, it's a miracle you showed up on time, O oh mighty leader of the Pearl Clan. How worried you got lost in a pointlessly vast space you're so fond of and never show up. Did you get lost? An almighty Sinnoh's great gift to the Pearl Clan and our words very basis? You wish. I wish I hadn't let myself get dragged into arguing with you. Almighty Sinnoh, forgive me. What a waste of time. We'll have to Commander Kamado's office. I believe it was you who started this. Alright, well, we've got Diamond Pearl there. Nice. You can feel the tension when those two showed up. You haven't met them, have you? The woman with the reverence for space is Arita, leader of the Pearl Clan. The man who was going on and about time was Adamin, leader of the Diamond Clan. Diamond and the Pearl Clan grudgingly coexist at the moment. Apparently things used to be less peaceful. But the boss, I mean the commander, is waiting. We should save this conversation for after you report to him. I wonder if I'm going to have to pick one of them. I mean, we obviously have to go with Diamond, right? Hello, Wimple. You just read. Hello. How are you doing, buddy? How goes the surveying? Getting along here, great, as you can tell. Wait, what's happening to the Beautifred? Oh, it's evolving. Oh, no. I mean, we knew this was happening. Wait, no, isn't that... Yes. Yeah, no, Cascoon is, uh... Yeah, I mean, we, we all knew this was happening. Well, Beautifred, you're gonna be a beautiful... Dust Ox. Like you were always meant to be. Hold on a minute, what's going on here? Oh, this is a side quest, isn't it? Oh, that's right, I've completely forgotten about the billboard. There's some request posts on the billboard, which one will check? Bothersome Badoof. Oh, yeah, okay. Seems the band of Bothersome Badoof keeps sneaking into the village and causing trouble. Talk to Sugami from the security corps and see if you can help set things in order. Uh, playing with Driftloom. Seems several people have spotted a Driftloom playing with one of the village children. That's not good. Mickey from the security corps can tell you more about this. Speak with her and get to the bottom. Zubat's eyes. Clarissa from the security corps has a request for us. You can do with a Zubat, I believe. Talk to the good lady and investigate as necessary, if you please. There are no other requests. Hello, Pliss Plash. Oh, there's more quests up there. Okay. I like it. I like these off quests. They give me more things to be distracted by. Radisa. Oh, splendid. You came along at a good time. I'm looking for a pickling stone, you see. Would you mind lending me a hand? It needs to be the right size to fit atop one of my pickle pots. And heavy enough to put a nice, firm pressure on the pickles. While they're fermenting. Mm hmm. But I suppose it'll be hard for me to lift such a heavy thing from the pot. The best thing would be for the stone to lift itself up, actually. Oh, I have a rather good idea. There's a Pokemon called Geodude. You want me to get a Geodude for you? It lives on Deer Track Heights. It'll be perfect for the job. Could you catch me one and bring it back? I'll be head home and wait for you there. Well, I mean, I do have Geodudes, so I mean, that's kind of fine, but it's kind of weird at the same time. Oh, hello. I do love me some drama. 